welcome back to the organ printing course uh, in the last lecture we have discussed uh, about the vascularity the need for vascularity the anatomy of vascular structure and then also what are the different strategies of vascular tissue printing one such thing is the for generating lower uh, micro vascular channels use or angiogenic modulation in this lecture we will discuss direct printing of vascular uh, vascular constructs actually how we can print a vascular channels uh, directly in a either directly in terms of a to get a large style with self standing vascular construct or also how to induce or how to print vascular channels within the tissue bed so when we try to uh, prepare the vascular construct like a self suppose a self standing vascular construct can be prepared by direct 3d printing of Dep uh, direct 3D printing by depositing different cell laden hydrogels or media or uh, cell laden hydrogels using either extrusion based or jet based or lift based bioprinting methods. So, thereby, what does what the study is done by Tan et al. Uh, what they have done, they have vertically stacked the circles or pores within a J plan in concentric layers. But the, what they have done that, so it's a multi nozzle extrusion based system they have used, and with that, so they have what they have done, they have printed alginate based cell and nitrogen hydrogel in a, in a concentric cylinders. So that their design is like the outer cylinder or outer circular structure of 12 millimeter di diameter, and the inner circular structure is almost 8 mm diameter. And then they have deposited the calcium chloride solutions in the inner circle and then they stack that thing, they keep on uh, repeating the thing again and again to get the 50 mm particle cylinder structure, cylindrical structure. So this is their work. So what they have done, they have first optimized the layer thickness of tubular work, then printing the multiple layers in vertical axis and then depositing cross-linking into the inner diameter and this repeating this step again and again to reach to uh, that 15 mm 15 millimeter of height so at first stage they have used suppose one nozzle three nozzles to print that alginate outer cylinder that is having diameter of 12 mm outer diameter and 8 mm inner diameter so then stacking multiple layers of this alginate they have got this concentric circular things to get some height and then they injected or put deposited that cross linking agent, in this case it is calcium chloride solutions within this printed area and so that this calcium chloride solution will cross link this structure, cross link the outer cylinder, cross link the cylinder from the outward to, from inward to outward direction so that the structure get cross linked and it is get stabilized. So by this thing, okay, actually by putting this concentric cylinders on top of each other, we can get something like a tubular structures. So that's this is the step by which they have uh, printed the whole thing. And if you see see here, this is the printed structure where you can see clearly this is the inner diameter and the outer diameter, and then this is the channel width, wall of the sorry, channel of the. This is the channel direction. This is the channel. Sorry, this is the channel width. You can clearly see this. And if you see here. This part is highly cross linked because it is opaque. You can see clearly it is opaque in nature, and that the outer part it is not, it is not the highly cross, cross linked because of this, it is less cross linked because the cross linker solution is present within this channel, within this pore here, and from there the cross linker solution is diffusing through the inner wall towards this side, right? So that, that's what happened when it is being like what is printed like this. And due to the cross linking, it the cross linking, the cross linking happens in this way, from this inward to outward direction, and because of that inner opaque layer and the outer less opaque layer is present in this case. But the one disadvantage of this thing is spreading of the bottom layers that always happens because it due to the gravity, the when you put layers on top of each other. 
then due to the gravity or the weight falling on this thing the base layer generally spreads and you can get this kind of a, a a slanting like structures we can get so that is the disadvantage of coding this thing together and this study this study they have done this study one limit is that vertical printing you know, shrinkage occurring other thing is the shrinkage occurring during the cross-linking process that is also another limitation of this thing in another study a uh, hp digit 500 was used thus that works on the principle of drop to drop on demand inject prince inject printing technologies that we have discussed in our earlier class earlier lecture where so if they have used this square at all uh, they have used a binding composed of uh, microvascular endothelial cells and that is suspended in fibrin hydrogel and then they have fabricated micrometer size channels with inject printing so there are various reports based on these things so where people have done directly their people have tried to print vascular networks and i will urge you to or uh, go through literature there are numerous at numerous descriptions available i have just shown you here two things this thing so there are two things so, but one biggest challenge of uh, direct printing of vascular uh, vascular construct is most of the time this vascular network vascular, ch the vascular channels or the vascular structure that is not self-supporting and they just collapse or as i've so uh, as it's already seen when one starts study a spreading spreading of the bottom layers happen due to the gravity so one way to tackle that thing is uh, 3d printing in the support bath that concept we earlier we have seen that so one such attempt was done by hinton at all where they have used support bath material to improve the structure integrity of the biprinted vasculature what they have done they printed the same sub vascular channel vascular tree in a support bath material and they are a uh, technology called fresh where it is free from reversible embedded embedding of suspended hydrogels what they have done they have used a syringe based extrusion system where the extrusion based system as we earlier we have discussed the syringe the extrusion based system where we can load the hydrogels in that extrusion based system and then we can apply pressure as in this case that the pneumatic pressure was applied and then or not pneumatic in this case probably the syringe driven pressure or the that the mechanical pressure was applied to extrude the bio they have modified a maker but fdm by printer fdm printer to uh, to load a syringe there and to house a syringe there and then they have loaded this their material in the syringe in this case also they have used a alginate material to load into the as a bio in encapsulating the cells and then no only the cells in this thing and then printing the thing so uh, the support bath was used as a gelatin gelatin micro gel support bath was used in this case and the bio solution printed within the gelatin support bath and that provide the support temporary support because gelatin is a thermoreversible material so during printing the temperature can be kept below the transition temperature like that is below around 30 30 degree centigrade so less than 30 degree centigrade they have printed the structure within this hydrogel bath and then they have and then on top of that they have then they have used alginate alginate structure alginate hydrogel for printing this kind of structures so this is the printed dimensions this is the printed dimension that's what they have printed you can clearly see this here as the structure was like this as this is going the structure here they have printed a vascular tree with the branching accurately the printing the vascular branching within this hydrogen so you see here the structure was in a gelatin micro gel bath when during printing then what will happen this if you remove the gelatin support bath then we will get this this kind of vascular tree structure right so that structure you can clearly see here how the structure look like whether the structure also the channels is quite visible here with this printing that's the advantage of using the support bath material but support bath material will hold the structure together and also help in formation of the clear channels and support structure and also when they pass the may some 
media through this it is very much the, the pores are open or the inner, inner luminal structure is open and you can pass through the thing so this is a very significant advancement where support bath can say very well use for printing a vascular tree with this kind of by printing method the other method uh, I would like to discuss is this is a this is a very interesting study where the similar support bath concept was used to develop a vascular channel embedded in a tissue bed so here what they have used they have used the organ building block so these organ building blocks are developed by by uh, culturing ipscs even ipscs and then this the ipscs they have cultured to form embryoid bodies and those embryoid bodies are again further mature and then they have used that that is the thing they have used as a organ building block on these embryonic bodies are again mixed up with the ECM solution. So the ECM solution here it is a matrigel. Matrigel is a also a temperature sensitive material because at below temperature like uh, around four, below 15 degrees centigrade or around the temperature it is having it is in the liquid state but if we can again uh, bring the temperature to uh, 37 degrees centigrade then it will become solid. So they actually they have printed this they have suspended this embryoid bodies within the geometrical bath at low temperature where this so it, it is perfectly working as a support bath structure and then then they have uh, allow it to set uh, this thing to settle down and to think so that they now this this embryoid bodies will settle down they will form a this kind, kind of complex structure where then then the superintendent was discarded and then they have used a syringe actually the nozzle was inserted within this bath structure and then they have printed the a printed a gelatin printed a printed a capillary like structure within this printed bath with the help of this thing now when we do that thing then actually we can create right different kind of things here they have used a sacrificial ink material sacrificial ink is here is a gelatin was used as a sacrificial ink material because gelatin has this gelatin also a thermoreversible material as we have discussed earlier at below 30 below 30 degree centigrade it is becoming like a gel like material so they printed at as they printed at lower temperature that temperature the gelatin was very much intact so as a gel and then that was basically that you can create any kind of structures because this here your mixture that embryoid bodies in matri gel is acting as a support bath material and your uh, gelatin is using as a material as a bioink for making any kind of, any kind of this kind of vascular network structures so this is the one so after after this process is done then they have what they have done they increase the temperature to 37 degrees centigrade two things happens two things happen here first is this matrigel that that is the same solution was used for this embryoid bodies that is that solidified matrigel solidified at 37 degrees centigrade because of self assembling of this thing and also the gelatin liquefies at the temperature and because of that the channels will be there but the gelatin will can be taken out right so that is the thing that happens first that is the, that what that's what happened in this case the first process is the adherent culture of ips is adherent culture then they are forced to aggregate using a, this kind of uh, standard tissue culture particular tissue culture plate where this embryoid bodies will form or spirits will form this spirits will grow further and then the culture this culture, again this can be scale up and then the cell assim aggregate suspended in ECM or gelatin algae sorry the matrigel solution at the low, low temperature this matrix com compaction and by centrifugation matrix is compacted and the superintendent were discarded then this thing was used as a this thing was used as a support bath for printing the sacrificial ink gelatin was used as sacrificial meat ink here in writing into the granular tissue bath 
and then if the temperature was raised so that the sacrificial make may for so that the whole this tissue bed with the material that is that will solidify the gel become gel and also the gelatin can be taken out so this is the process by which the vascular tissue vascularized tissue construct can be fabricated effectively and this process is called swift sacrificial writing into functional tissue so this is the work they have done so in this work they have also shown different types of embryoid bodies formation like and also actually 20 different types of uh, spheroids or embryoid yeah, this organ building blocks they have produced with this technique and this is how actually this like here the support at the first this tissue block this a tissue the embryoid tissue was developed within this kind of geometry physical plate and then these embryoid bodies were collected and then they were based they were put together inside the inside the material and then again it is centrifuged after centrifuging you can clearly see a compact layer is formed here and the supernatant was supernatant is discarded in the compact layer within this compact layer now you can actually immerse your, your syringe nose, nozzle and then you can start depositing the sacrificial ink you can see nozzle here and then the deposit in this, this, the nozzle and the uh, the sacrificial ink in this case that is gelatin is getting deposited and along the print direction a layer a channel a micro channel is getting formed within this tissue bed that is the thing and then the tissue bed as you see here micro channel the tissue bed within the tissue bed a micro channel is getting formed and this micro channels after after you can take out the gelatin by in increasing the temperature when the whole the matrix will get solidified also the channels the gelatin will get liquefied at high temperature and then gelatin can be easily taken out you can end up in getting a channel like structures print evacuate and perfuse so that you can get a channel like structures and by which you can perfuse your media and other things so they have also shown different types of structures can be printed or different channel different types of channels can be embedded within this within this uh, tissue bed actually you can see here sacrificial link a helical like structures have been also printed with the sacrificial link and then that is can that can be connected to the connected to the uh, media by and media can be perfused through this thing so this is the thing at printing when the printing process done the helical like structure is getting printed then they evacuate when the gelatin is taken out and then we can again perfuse through the media can be sent within this so this is this technology has is a very high uh, very very good for printing any kind of thing also in this same work they have also shown how a perfusal cardiac tissue can be fabricated within this thing they have used a they have used the mri data to find out the channels or the or the vascular channels present within the support within this then that part of this a small part of this thing a vascular tree present in the suppose in the heart muscle so that's what that's what they have taken out this was isolated and this was this was used as a cad model for fabricating the structures now how they have similar way as i have already discussed earlier in the earlier section a like uh, the cardiac organoids were prepared from the same IPS is the target cardiac organoids were prepared and those were mixed with alginine uh, mixed with matrices and that was being put here and then they have used a gelatin uh, gelatin uh, biwing and then the inject nozzle was put where nozzle in the, sorry, the the syringe nozzle was immersed here and then the, the channels were created within this cardiac organ and matrix here yeah. and then actually then they said actually this is the side view front view side view of the thing and then then that was allowed to set the original the thing was allowed to set like here the gel was allowed to cross link at 37 degree centigrade and also gelatin was taken out and then you can see a perfusible channels have been created within this thing and right? within this this thing so this is this is a how this is how the cardiac tissue was fabricated by using this swift technique this technique has got huge prospect for 
uh, in, in terms of thing. So these are the few applications uh, where direct printing of this vascular channels or vascular construct have been attempted. There are various studies where uh, people have tried to generate vascular structure either a self-standing vascular support structure or a vascular channels are created within this thing. So there are many such studies please go through the literature here I have also given the link for this few of the literatures please go through this literature you will understand much better and I will discuss more of such things in the coming slides. Thank you.